Welcome to the hot. <sighs> Fuck. Welcome Keep to the. It. I can't. I have because then I'm gonna look dumb. Keep it. Keep it. I know. It's just like what are? You... Can somebody else start the show? Deranged. <laughs> Isaac, about can you put on camera one? It's so <laughs> Two and a half men. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Daniel Rashid says that baby has no idea it's a part of comedy history. <laughs> the Headgum Podcast. A Headgum Podcast. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's I really like that. good. If the intro is just this is a headgum podcast. This is the headgum podcast. A headgum podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Riley. And it's just that for 45 minutes and then Forever you do that's the show. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you sh- okay, Riley, you do Rose's part and then I'll come in as the host. Okay. This is a headgum podcast. Welcome to This is the Headgum Podcast. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey James. With me as never before is Amir Blumenfeld, Jay Kerwitz, and Riley Ann oh, Sport. God. Are you nervous? You've done this before. I've never had more than four in a remote session. I want to kind of give the floor to y'all. All All right, there's six of us on the show. There's two producers on Voice of God, Mike. What is going on with you guys? What do you want to talk about? What is wrong with you? (laughs) I'm manic depressive. I'm manic depressive. I've never seen you more tense. (laughs) 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 The years that I have known you, I've never seen you as rigid. If I like tapped you, you would fall over and shatter. (laughs) I'm a boss. You're wound tight today, man. You're wound super tight. You're taught. Yeah. And I, well, I was taught to be relaxed. <laughs> Were you? Yeah, and so it's oh, sort okay. of an act of uh, rebellion. Rebellion, yeah. Mm. The idea here is to kind of get a personal touch on it. So please welcome to the show Peter George Saba, Riley Marie Jude Anspa, and yeah, Brownlee Struthers. Sure. Thank you for having us. It's yeah, been a minute. Thank you. Both of you haven't been on since October, September ish. I've never been on with Riley before. Which is yeah. very exciting. Well, I'm so happy to be here with Marika and George. You've also never been on with me. <laughs> Mir, I had, I'm actually just now remembering that I had a dream that we were in the same high school class and we had a reunion. And a ring. A ring union. <laughs> a re- we had a reunion and I, like, even in the dream, I'm like, Amir? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> 20 something. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? I think probably because yesterday on Review Review, we were talking about uh, your age because uh, someone said you were born in 2002. Um, Me? Yeah. And so- I see. Facetiously <laughs> saying that. <laughs> so that's why. Um, Was it you I or guess- Jeff? Because I think there's only two people on that show. So when you say someone said that. <laughs> <laughs> It was from a listener sending a theme song talking about how you died, but you're, it was like 2002 to forever on your headstone. Hmm. Eager. I'm eager to chime in. The show has started right now. <laughs> Everywhere, if you're listening at home, stand, stand the fuck up. If you're if you're sitting down, stand up. <laughs> Wait a second, Riley. <laughs> Why? I, you don't want people to be comfortable while they're listening to the show. I want people to get pumped. I want them to be do ten jumping jacks. What? Right Just now? do it. Sorry, Riley. Fuck what does that say on your shirt? Out. It says uh, "Rock the House B'nai Mitzvah Services." Are you a DJ? Ten jumping jacks and hey ho, hey yeah, ho. Yeah, that's cool. Hey. Yeah, I see how you got the job. Yo. That's yeah. really good. Now it's begun, right? Now we're moving. I'm just saying. Headgum after dark, right? So? So the energy is kind of fun. Is it not? Nor- so it's like when you're recording during daylight, what's All the energy business. like? All okay. business That's, during working yeah. hours. So this is fun you. That's your second one or you've had two? <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> Nice. Oh my God. Don't so drink so much coffee. So many more sounds since I've been here. Oh my God. How do you guys do this every week? This is maybe my fourth time on the show. And how do you want? Oh my fucking How do you get a goddamn word in edgewise? What is the point? Are we just all here to entertain Jeff as he like files through different sound cues? Yeah. And we Holy just shit. like, oh word my of the week. God. No fucking way, word of the week, she already got it. That's a thousand dollars to Riley. 
What, what was, was it? it? Jeff. <laughs> You're saying your name. I thought I had a blood clot in my leg. But did Why? you? Why did you think you had a blood clot? Because I felt a kind of pain like in my thigh that I've never felt before. And it was getting worse and worse. I'm and Daniel and I are Googling and I'm like, I it might be a blood clot. And we went to the ER, which was very open. Not not a lot, not a lot of people there at 7 p.m. on New Year's Eve in, in Evanston, Illinois. Um nice. and they were like, it's not a blood clot, take an aspirin. And I remember I was in and I'm like, I'm like, hey, so obviously my health comes first. This is not a big deal, but um if I'm going to a party and if I wanted to, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. And they're like, you want to know if you can have a drink with, with aspirin? I'm like, yeah, but obviously health is a priority. And they're like, I'll ask the doctor. And I'm like, stupid, stupid. And then they're like, the doctor says, take, take an aspirin and have a drink. It's New Year's. And I'm like, okay. The doctor tried to kill you. Doctor's orders. We yeah. should say it looks like a real old school wedding video. Oh, yeah. Well, it is. It is a, a real <laughs> old, old school video. Old school. Yeah. I love that you were getting like <laughs> interviews sounds. of people like, um, like, fuck you guys. Why are we quiet? No, I was listening <laughs> to you. <laughs> you were talking. Yeah, I was thinking. I guess I'm just You're not used to being interrupted. Uh, <laughs> I'm used to. I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love how you got like wedding confessionals, testimonials, very, yeah. and ultimately Jeff multiple times was like, "My name is Jeff, and I think Marika is going to get the joke." So that <laughs> is. <laughs> A Built into gag. the history yeah. of your wedding the now, fabric. which is yeah. awesome. Wow. Casey, you crushed it. Yeah. And South by Memories, Riley? Oh, that's so, yeah. I mean, there's so <laughs> many, right? Like, all of us. Oh, you didn't go to South by. At South by together. Riley wasn't invited. Oh, yeah. Um, Man, I mean, it's like. Chicago? Did you go to, wait. I did, oh, to Chicago, I do have memories of because I was there. So that's the difference between me and the other other three things. How'd you know we things. were in Chicago, by the way? I forgot you, why are you, why were you there in Chicago? Why was I, saw, I there? I saw you there, but that well, was the first Jeff I heard about you Well, Jeff and I were there coming. because we, well, we opened for you guys, actually. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's true. Okay. So I understand why and you were we, there. I just we don't understand why. we were at the merch why. table the whole time. It was helpful to have you there in that capacity. That's true. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. So that was awesome. So you've been included forever. That's awesome. So we've established that Riley's always around, always She's in canon, um, basically. Santa baby, I'm greased up <laughs> like a hog on a log. <laughs> Hoggy, Time to hoggy, get hoggy, in the hoggy, bad hoggy. Santa baby and squeeze me, rub me with water now. <laughs> Rah, da, 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 da. <laughs> At break. Squeak me with, <laughs> with water, water right, right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be super affordable, right? To live in a place with garbage weather. <laughs> yeah. You know, like Omaha, well, Nebraska. Like yeah. if you're like 40 Jeff, minutes outside of Santa Fe, not your turn. there's, there's, yeah. Everybody else kind of takes the floor, and then Jeff, it's like it's a natural flow of conversation. <laughs> I don't know when it becomes my Jeff, turn. Jeff, it's not your turn because I haven't gone yet, so it's my turn now. When my brother went, come up with and an now order. it's, and now it's my turn. Feels like I'm always last, and then everybody wants yeah. to move on to the next question before I answer. <laughs> Jeff, let's get to Riley's and then move brother, on. Brother, brother Riley. Right, brother yeah. Riley. <laughs> brother Riley. Oh, 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 brother Riley. Um, <laughs> <laughs> brothers listen brothers gather around and let me tell you the awful. tale of the coldest that brother riley has ever been um so being being a california california girls you girls know, so it's kind of like da, that da, 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 yeah 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 so that's if i had done that you would have yelled at me good. for five minutes jeff jeff i'm actually i'm actually <laughs> talking being a california girl um, Daisy, going to school. Dukes, yeah, Bikini, absolutely. <laughs> Jeff, stop. Literally stop. She's Jeff, crying. seriously, stop. <laughs> I said two words. Jeffrey. Are you complaining? What is this? So going to school in Boston, um, let's just let's just say it was a rude awakening for sure. Um, that Massachusetts uh, cold hit different. <laughs> different. That's exactly right. Um, and my senior year, so the, my freshman year, it was the worst winter that Boston has had since like the 80s. And so I was like, of course, like I would, it wasn't, I wasn't cold. It was just a shit ton of snow. Like I would literally see my teachers like snowshoeing and cross country skiing to class, um, which was insane. But the coldest I've been there, I, my senior year, I was, I was, in a student short film. What was it about? I'm actually not done talking is the thing. So God. it was like the time we shot, it was like winter turning into spring, but it was still fucking cold. And so we yeah. were doing a night. <laughs> what shoot. was it about? Oh, it was basically like, um, it's <laughs> the most like kind of art me? house 
thing I've done. It was, um, it's a, it's a lot to explain. Yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. But um, classic. Jeff, stop. <laughs> I'm doing the same shit Amir. So we were doing. outside, and it was like, um, the story took place in like spring summer, but it was still end of winter when we shot it. And so mm-hmm. we were doing a night shoot, and I was standing out in the cold, like in just like a t-shirt and a light sweater. Um, and everyone else was in like fucking big ass coats. It was so right. cold. And it was a scene where like it was like I was on the I was like getting in a fight with my mom on the phone and they're like, OK, obviously, you know, it's like you're, you're going to do your own thing and, and we're not going to put any pressure on you to cry. Like you don't have to, obviously. But if you do, it would be great for the shot. But you don't have to. Um, I'm like, for sure. And I it was so hard to focus on not being Shivering. freezing. Yeah. And so I remember like tearing up and I could hear they're like this is great this is great this is great but it's just from me thinking of like how in pain the rest of my body was from being right. unbelievably like if, cold if you're in a t-shirt and it's 40 degrees out that's the coldest you've ever been more than like if you're bundled up and it's negative 12 or yes something. yes because it was like mm. it, we were in like some alley so it's like we had the wind chill too it oh, was God. real bad and I was <laughs> very distracted but then um <laughs> Yeah, so then I went home and uh, ate some crispy M&Ms and and watched TV, (laughs) if you can believe it. I think sweet potatoes are disgusting. I do, too. (gasps) Really? Actually? Yes. Wait, every time I say that, everyone looks at me like I'm insane. Yeah. I I, I, I think they're they're fine, but it's just, they're not better than fries. The idea that sometimes they're an upcharge to fries, I'm like 75 cents and I can make the fries worse. No, thank you. (laughs) I just don't think the boosters work either, right? No. (laughs) I'm not making sure we're on the same exact page. You're shoehorning that opinion into the sweet potato. We disagree about that. It's not interesting. Also, I can tell you're bottomless. (laughs) 400. I'm going to have to say Phoebe Waller Bridge because I think it'd be a gas. A gas? <laughs> Why are you mad? It at would this? be a gas. Yeah, like I'm mad because like no one. We're her, all so allies. I couldn't be like, oh no, I couldn't be like, oh no, no, I wanted to pick her. I didn't have that fun little. Oh man, shoot, you picked right. her. So yeah, fuck it. I'm, I picked all her. All right, you're mad that you got to have your first pick <laughs> without. That's crazy. Without getting upset. I didn't get. I didn't know. It's just like I didn't get the attention of not getting it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't get to have that. So moment. more important than Every getting what you want. Every time we do this show, someone's mad. We've never all four of us been happy at the same time. Like face. horror yeah. face to me. Yeah. Ooh. Baba Duke. Can't Baba. even compare. Oh my God. Oh my God. Speaking oh my God. Of. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that oh wasn't even the clip. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a pre-roll for... Uh, <laughs> But it was the Babadook, right? Yeah, that was. Sick. Gay okay, icon. <laughs> Is it I scary to watch it in the theater? Or scared at home? me. I'm watching it in a grainy video from <laughs> a video. At, yeah, I and have, it's like, not even new. fingerprints all over my screen. Like. Yeah, and it's, it, it's 11 a.m. and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how the episodes go? Is it just a lot of like silence and yeah. then Jeff introducing? Yeah, I mean, it's either the game or it's utter silence and you guys have to fill the void. So I don't know. I mean, make your choice. I don't know what else to say. Um, I've only stayed. I've only done one. Would you do this? All nighter. I, if, I mean, if I, if I was in here, I, I would do it. I would be not thrilled. I would be excited for like the first two hours. Yeah. And then it would hit me and be like, oh, shit. I've only pulled one all nighter before, like one, like 24 hour step. And um, I felt like absolute shit the next day because it's like the adrenaline that keeps you going for a bit of like oh I'm gonna do it we're gonna do an all nighter and like it keeps you and then it's like then the wee hours of the morning hit and then I want to kill myself it's like it's so and the next day feels like the worst hangover of your entire life because what's Um, gonna happen is I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to sleep at 12 30 yeah Wake up at what nine? Yeah. Then what? Now you're then you're gonna be nocturnal. Now I'm fucked. You <laughs> might yeah. you might sleep through the whole night. Back in his hand. The pipe is back. It hasn't left the hand. Well, right, and so it it's is. That's kind of like a safety blink. Yeah, it's a crutch. It's a crutch. Yeah. It's a crutch. But on the positive note, I think your hair looks really good this way. Yeah, I would agree. That's genuine. I think your hair looks really good. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Marika, I took the note. I mixed. I mixed the levels. Yeah, it was a little better. Yeah. That was another note from last week. Was that you? You. The old one was this. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white van. Riley's grasping her headphones. She moved them off her head. So, so I found this damn, one. Daniel, it's much nicer. That damn. Da- that second one. <laughs> Even with my headphones off, these cans on my head will bleed. Um. So here is the. Uh, they just changed her shoes. That's all that. Yeah. That's all they did. Yeah. And then like a bunch of Republicans were like, M and M's went whoa. Well, I don't want to like, fuck her anymore. Did you before? <laughs> what <shoes>? happened? <laughs> um, if she's not so- in heels, I don't want to tap that thing. <laughs> No, wait, I want. Well, I want to hear. I want to hear everyone else's first because I need to temper how sad mine is. Yeah, be. I know me too. <laughs> I'm like, who oh, do you really want to know? <laughs> I think I'll uh, never tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are crying though. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Jeff, why don't you start us off? Um, yeah. really? When was the last time all of us <laughs> really? were in a room to pod together? I don't know if we've ever possibly done that. never never, yeah, never this only this on Zoom. group yeah and Casey that's right because it was on yeah. Zoom we had you guys zooming in the last time it was everybody yeah. mm-hmm. this is the core six the I'm core sorry six. to interrupt I really no you're like not getting you away don't from the don't core say issue. I'm sorry because I know <laughs> you're not so I'd New rather you just interrupt and just fucking <laughs> talk about it rather than be like I'm we sorry I'm sorry to interrupt because you don't fucking mean it no you don't mean it you don't mean it no rewind it back rewind it back I want you I don't want you to say I don't want you to say I'm sorry I want you to go back I'm not, I'm sorry. Shit. No, you're not. No, you're not. You so love just hard. No, you know, I don't it's not off. hard for you. you to love interrupt when is the easy. People talk at the same time. Is the easiest you love thing when in the music world is playing you. over dialogue. Yeah. You love I like when there's overlapping dialogue. You love yeah. 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 So take yeah. your apology back. Right no, so, I don't have to do it. Take it back. Take it back. There are things that you mean and there are things you mean. You don't mean it kindly or earnestly. Say, I take it back. I don't know what this is about because I thought that we all had a good time at the wedding. fucked up. Riley, we finally got you back on. I was getting bullied online for not having you on, even though I asked you every week for a semester. <laughs> and then I stopped asking because you said no every time. And then you were like, hey, I'm, I think I might come on the HeadGum podcast this week. So you threw me a bone here, and I do appreciate it. Manshi is the second hardest guest to get. So this is a big <laughs> episode. I'm a horrible golfer. Uh, Vince Vince. Vince. Correct. Even you don't care about this. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the most joyless segment I've ever been a part of. Yeah. Yeah. Even you really care. Though, like you all of us are doing this. You bared hole for all to see, and now your life has no meaning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, how are you, Riley? I'm great. I'm good and sad. You know, that's just how it is. Good and my, sad. My sister. Good and sad. My sister and my nephew left yesterday, so Daniel and I are empty nesters Wh- now. Where do they go? They went back. They live in Maine, and so she came out here to visit like right before this all went down and so then they got kind of stuck here for two months which was like an awesome time but then like we simply have to go home are they driving they flew oh i dropped them off at lax yesterday and the wildest thing happened first of all the streets at lax it's like a ghost town there was no one of there God, that's crazy um, i fucking it was love it. really jarring to see lax and sometimes will take like two hours to yeah. get, like I've been to LAX, like where I got off the exit, where it's like five minutes away, and it takes an hour. Yeah, that is yeah. truly insane. I missed a flight that way once. Yeah, so it was fully open, and I'm you know idling at the curb, and uh, my sister's like, "Can you watch? You can't idle ocean for a little the, bit. I'm gonna go check that." Uh, sorry. <laughs> or I meant, just, yeah. yeah I'm just saying, like, I mean, there was no one there, that's, right? That's there a pass no through lane. You, you don't even have to keep this part in. Just there's nobody just, fucking. Why well, say it no if they're not going to keep it in? Also, know, why do you I'm care about the airport to... rules? She yeah. said it was deserted. <laughs> she said it was a ghost town. Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving, lady. That's all I meant. If you're going to say something, <laughs> if you're going to say something and say don't keep this in, then just don't say this it. Just right? for future, just for Riley to know. Don't keep this in. This is just for Riley. Keep it moving, lady. All right, finish the story. So your note to me is keep it moving, lady. Just keep it moving, please. Can you not? Thank you. I'm just saying what they would say to me. All right, you can. You're a piece of shit. So you do idle. Wait, you just said what they'd say to you. So you do. Well, idle. I, I what I did was take a power nap there, but I turned my car off, so it's not idling. That's it's parking. Actually, <laughs> it's quiet. It's parking. Yeah. It's yeah. Quiet? So I wake up. It's parking. I wake up and there's eight SWAT team members because <laughs> they the think fucking, you're a terrorist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah laser sight yeah. pointing at my forehead. By the way, they don't. They, it, there's not a rule against idling because they think it's too loud. It's bad it's for the economy. Force. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for the elephants. 
Bad for the economy. Effect. It's good for the economy because then you need to get gas. What's I was just saying the butterfly effect affects all of us equally, whether it's like something happening at LAX or something happening halfway across the universe. What's the point of the you story? Derailed, I feel like Riley's we got story. derailed. What's by the this. point of this? You can't derail a story for 10 minutes and then ask what the point is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Lady. I'll keep it moving, lady. So I'm sitting in the car with Ocean and suddenly like this this woman comes out of the doors and she looks frantic and she's holding like a dog cone like a medical cone and a leash and a collar (laughs) and And I I look out in the road and her dog it has no collar and is just standing in the middle of the road and they're both kind of like what are we gonna do and she tries to go for it and the dog just like and just like zooms and is now running all along the streets and thank god there was like barely anyone there oh my god and then I hear the woman just yell his name is Vinny. <laughs> and so then everyone around the JetBlue terminal is just going, come here, Vinny. Come here, Vinny. Vinny, come here, Vinny. Vinny. First while Amir and is Vinny parked starts- at Terminal 7, and he does have a bomb this time. <laughs> yeah, Tom Bradley International. I want to make the biggest boom there is. <laughs> I want to be famous. Easy. Don't say that. Yeah, yeah. I want it to be infamous. So I don't know what happened to Vinny. I didn't see him uh, I, I I left before I found out what happened. So that's well, how I'm doing. He's definitely dead. <laughs> Me to take over? Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, Am I right? Come on, fucking at least drowning. Talk about that. How has the the transition been for y'all? This is Better been than ever. Three episodes in or Better four episodes Better than in? ever. It's been hilarious. I think the it's better than when I was. was like, it's night and day. You're, it's like your mental night health. Night and day. It's like at night first I was like, oh, what's the point? And now I'm like, oh, that's the point. It's the thing that's most interesting to me is the guests who are frankly begging to come on <laughs> wouldn't come within a tenth of the show. Pre- Everyone's coming out of the January. woodwork now that Jeff's gone. They're like, oh yeah, now I'll guess. Yeah. Now I'll guess. Yeah, and you guys have been BCCing me on that. I guess bragging. <laughs> I never thought yeah. Al Roker would express interest. <laughs> we'll wax. We'll get to know each other even more. Uh, we'll play some games. There will be some cash prizes. Uh, really? And, uh, what's that? There's going to be cash prizes? Yeah, so uh, we give out real money on the show now. Oh, my God. It's so it's so different from when I last came on. Uh, it's really, we found our stride, I think, in, like, November. And so you... So that's coming out of your pocket. You're directly paying people for <laughs> these games. Mo. Yeah. That's he amazing. paid Caleb Heron, Jeff. Uh, $1,300 recently. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeff, that's, like... That's almost all of your stimmy. <laughs> yeah, well, the I had to get it back. I, 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 I groveled, and I actually had to make a back room deal with Caleb to to get the money back that you gave him yeah because it was prize money but I, then I realized I couldn't afford rent and uh so I had to I, I had to call him and I said hey I really need this money back okay. uh he Hold said on, what's just, in sorry, it for me sorry just take it yep. slow I just need to write a couple things down to send yeah. to Amir uh what did so, you write sorry down? what did Caleb say what did you say to Caleb it used to be that we would just give to the less fortunate. Miles has a box cutter. Sorry, yeah. Miles has a box cutter. He's just <laughs> staring at me menacingly. I don't have a box cutter. You just showed it. You just, she just <laughs> wielded it on camera. No, <laughs> you and guys. It. There must have been a glitch. It wasn't a glitch. You're coming through not only in stereo, but in the highest definition I've ever seen on a Zoom. My You're not being attacked. Speed, my internet speed must be frozen. You're you don't in- have to put your hands up. Miles is upset because Jeff said that Italians aren't discriminated against anymore. And that's why he pulled out the box cutter. (laughs) (laughs) This next Friday when this comes out, he'll kind of see that I was kind of walking. (laughs) He said we were your friends. That's insane. That's, that's insane. Why is that funny? <laughs> if we're all asking what's No, that's why really are funny. good. No, he doesn't have to explain it. We all know. Imagine you being friends with us you're not one of us <laughs> i mean let alone amir who's literally a tiktok influencer on the <sighs> nightly news i'm dying mm-hmm. i'm what? dying <laughs> thinking about it oh i've also been yeah. people being like that, riley's 26 yeah right thought she was 32 <laughs> Someone said, look at those crow's feet. And I'm like, sorry, you mean laugh lines, bitch? Oh, wow. That's <laughs> really that's cool. Fun. That's sorry, really fine. I smile, honey. Um.
Yeah, it's it's like whoever's talking. It's kind of like Zoom where it's like the box around it lights up, but it's like whoever's talking kind of gets center stage. So it's almost like if someone were to talk while I'm talking right now, they would kind of push me <laughs> off stage and it would Let's hurt see if that happens. Bit. Does it make my screen bigger? Fuck! No. Mine always stays Wait, is mine bigger for you guys? No, it's it's yours starting is to bigger gradually get bigger as you talk. Oh yeah, yours is getting bigger. Well, speaking of defer, <laughs> you have you have a heart out today because you're uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have a callback for a, a commercial for the U.S. Army Reserve. I do. Wow. I mean, <laughs> it's Wait, one of those things where she walks into. I have to leave at one twenty. Even if we're still going, I'm sorry. I will be getting up and leaving the room. Because in the military, if you're early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. Yeah. Hoorah. <laughs> yes. Bring your King James Bible, Riley. <laughs> the few, the proud. It's already packed, brother. It's in the Subaru <laughs> outside, ready to go. And we should say that your King James Bible is just something you bought at Sotheby's that used to be owned by LeBron. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's LeBron's old Bible. Yeah. yeah. That's sick. Really Riley, what's... Forget what he just said because that was um. Don't ask error. me the same question. Don't ask me the same question No, what's your biggest asked? eat, pray, love moment where you did something just for you? A moment where, for lack of a better term... This girl is on fire! So like you're eating alone at like a fancy restaurant treating yourself or like you're reading a book having a main character moment on a hike. Reading a book on a hike. <laughs> I don't know. So dangerous. I was actually flipping through Eat, Pray, Love while on Runyon. And so I was... Um, I was on Angel's Landing sort of skim reading a novella. A what? A novella. I have a question for you. So Miles when? is like a, a billionaire with a million listeners. Yeah. Sorry, 100 million listeners 100 million. per pop. Sure. Melanie is the most famous Kiwi ever. What am Love I? It. What's my thing? Riley also has a really successful podcast. No, no, just no, got into no, no, no. It's like we it has got, to be different than Miles's. Yes, it just got into the. Well, I know one big really thing talented about, actor producer. No. Well, you're this missing the. I, think, I thought you were gonna be like supermodel of the world. Like yeah, so you wanted me to say something runways, really specific. Like you don't do those yeah, things. I was gonna say I, <laughs> we were just having fun. The curtain bangs <laughs> didn't come up. <laughs> That's fine. We don't have to talk about her. If I why would that would be offensive if I talked about your hair. No, it would. No, because it's a showstopper no, that Riley wouldn't. is really excited it, you're right about. That it is a showstopper. Like, you just got the curtain bangs. I got them a couple months ago, but <laughs> but honestly, Miles, <laughs> I got them trimmed recently. That's wow. right. Yeah. That's damn right. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. I care. Wait, you're I was on Miles. Reviewer, account, you just I got just, into the New York Comedy Festival. We're talking about your bangs. I described my bangs <laughs> no as response. an accessory that I have all the time. That's I want to end the show there. Plugs. Really what do you have going on? What do you want to put? You're doing what is it? A chair? fundraiser (laughs) (laughs) that's what this feels like yeah yeah Yeah, i was gonna say that's (laughs) guesting on the air i I do want to say dave chang but i thought you were gonna say timothy chalamet i've heard dave chang can be kind of me you can say it none of us can say it but you can say it the c word feel free to say the c word cunt with a y (gasps) with a y at the end with a y at the end (gasps) david chang is and then i can't say it but you say it (laughs) Mm -hmm. Don't no, Jeff. Go on, you say. Don't it. coach her to slur. I'm not. I'm not coach. <laughs> David Chang yeah. is. <laughs> you're guiding her. I know how Blank. to is... say the word. I know how to say the word cunt. With you're a Y. Like a, With a Y. I'm not... David Chang Jesus. is. <laughs> David Chang is. You're like a. You're an evil SAT tutor. Let her talk. <laughs> this is you as a dad. Um. <laughs> hey, don't, don't don't tell your um, folks that I told you the, the word. Mm. Mine's with Dunty, uh, different letters. Of course I'm going to tell them. We pay you a lot of money. I'm 14, and you're teaching me swear words. I should be ter- like learning geometry. You're how so did, um, off base. Sorry, how did the math section go for you? I got a 740. <laughs> it's amazing. You don't need me. My essay no, is for the English section. I just wrote cunty 50 <laughs> times. She they finally it. said it, Jeff. You happy? At the reception, I think she like was walking past him and she kind of bumped into his shoulder yeah. on purpose and she was Didn't like, walk there, much? <laughs> right. yeah. She can't walk, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> walk much? She doesn't know how. Um, <laughs> let's talk about... The, Don't uh, clap for your own joke. That's just transition music, man. Is it? <laughs> the sounds of silence and Claps joy. are music to your ears. No People way. applauding is the music of your life. My favorite song is a standing <laughs> O. <laughs> Well, I'm having it out. 
<laughs> is now a good time to like talk about review review, like how you are there, or is this just a headgum podcast thing? I think it would be a great time to talk about review review also because I feel like it's got to bleed in. Like they both have to. I be mean, it's the like I, we've never had this kind of like platform to be able like. Or I've never I've never had an in to be like, oh my god, now I can finally give him yeah. all of the feedback that he's been needing. You yeah, know? I think this is the perfect I place for. Almost that. fear that it'll be the tipping point. I almost fear that that might <laughs> put me over the edge. You almost fear it? <laughs> no, because I don't know. Because it might be po- it all. It might be all positive to me, and ideally, it's that. Here's the thing: is the feedback is not just from me, and I wish it was. But it's like yeah. it's from every guest we've had on. It's from every listener. Gall it's- wrote, I would say, an essay. Totally. Yeah, he really did. Oh my god, it was so well written too. Which yeah. is like, he's just the best. Daniel has been running his fucking mouth about it. Sorry yeah. to go that far, but it's like he, I can't <laughs> stop him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get that. <laughs> That's um, but we don't have to say? do that right now. We don't actually. Let's no. Let's yeah. go on. We can do this later. There's well, nothing better than being on. told that, hey, let's talk later and then not doing it right now. So yeah. let's get into it and then we now can I'm maybe. Now I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Now I'm uncomfortable. Great idea. I think Jeff might have short-term memory loss because Jeff was a co-host and we made the show together and he was what? on for three, three years. <laughs> and then it was only this past year that months? Jeff stepped down and Alfred stepped up. Um, Alf wasn't the stepdad. He was the dad who stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that you before. No. <laughs> um, I love it. What is the color of my favorite pants? Green. All green. these questions. Correct. I think they're green. <laughs> Sticking around. This, this isn't true. This is just what are the color of Jeff's favorite pants? What is the color of my house? <laughs> Let's keep it going. We're here, Santa Honey, Riley. Riley. Santa Honey, can I also have a present in cash? <laughs> I don't mean on a loan, Santa baby. I want ten thousand dollars tonight. Yeah, yeah. A Bay Area, a Bay Mary Mayor. Yeah. So is this at a just because it's like I, I this <laughs> episode and then I was on a couple weeks ago, but I haven't been on in years. Is this a segment like of you just kind of like? Shooting off puns based off of headlines <laughs> that are pretty. It's news of the day. I had the yes. same question. I had the same question because yeah, Jake has been on in like three been months. Been yeah. Oh, three it, months. Wow. Yeah. Because it's like God, all the other all the other <laughs> segments have theme songs. They have yeah. like, and here's this new segment. That oh, you yeah, just like kind of launch into like, <laughs> don't wake a kid up. And yeah. what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> don't worry, darling. It's always been part of the wax. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me darling. <laughs> Ever. Okay. I think you would die. <laughs> First Tomorrow thing. never does. <laughs> Pictures up and you're gone. I don't think so. <laughs> How do you think it would happen? Like what kind of what stunt? Or if even a stunt. Or he just like sh- moped, not even, you think he makes it to the first stunt? Absolutely not. I think it's like and pictures up and action and he just croaks. No I way. Think. From the pressure. <laughs> it's impossible to time it's, that. Um I think it would be from one of those like classic motorcycle moped things, but the whole scene is that Amir's just on the back and he tur- he he shifts his weight the wrong way, kind of like yeah, the end of uh, That's really the History good. Boys play so. slash movie. He shifts his ro- the wrong way and then he would die from a crash. <laughs> the hell! That's not the resume that gets you Bond. I think it's he's he's shaking a martini in a in a shaker, but he hits his head just so that wouldn't kill that you. it fully no it, that doesn't kill you that okay. knocks you out you <laughs> fall backwards glass table that kills you they somehow have the coverage of it <laughs> yeah. Bond doesn't it make his own dreams imagine what I say ums you say b ums b ums b. <laughs> when I say bite, you say rice. Bite. Rice. Bite. Rice. rice. Fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> is this what it feels like to be you? Yeah, yeah he did that yes. several times throughout the night. Oh my God. I'm going to go with um, a barista at, the, at this coffee shop near where I live. Name drop. Uh, I only know the first name. Uh, his first name is Cam. 
And it it's is- crazy because James Bond often starts with their last name. Yes. That's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, only getting first I don't even know. I just remember name. like just Kim gave me this is for visual. Kim gave me like a very knowing look one time. I'm like, uh, can I get like two percent milk in that? Do you have that? And Kim just kind of like looks back. He's like, uh, yeah, I think we can make that work. So and because I'm like, oh, he's fine. Okay. You're a spy. <laughs> and you're a spy. He was fine with you having dairy, and now you think he should be the next double O. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, you know. I, and I don't mean this to hurt your feelings. That might be the worst bond of the week we've ever done. <laughs> I think Can is going to do great. Cam. 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 You think his name was Cam? <laughs> I thought it was Cam. Why are we not lambasting him for that? <laughs> Can Bond. You're going to change the name the of the fucking bond. name? Can, Can Bond. <laughs> what? <laughs> or, wait, do that again. The name's Bond. Ooh. Can Bond. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a family name. Yeah. Yeah. Would it right. be weird nice. if any of us had our weddings at the Houdini Mansion now that you have already kind of like laid your claim to it? I think now that I did it, you guys can sort of do whatever you want. It would be weird to go <laughs> <What's> second. <that? laughs> yeah. It'd like, be weird if we did it before you. Like it would be worse for you than for me. Like it wouldn't take anything away from my evening because my evening already happened. So but now you'd, you'd be like, wow, at Amir's wedding, this oh, happened God. at this spot. You'd have to admit yeah. that you'd be a little less you know, like, joyful at their wedding because you've seen it all before. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I figured I would be, like, more relaxed and in- comfortable and enjoy Would it be weird if I copied literally everything that happened Like if Rami wedding. married her and Daniel? <laughs> Again, I feel yeah. like I would be honored. I don't know. It would be exciting to see that you same liked floor my arrangements, wedding so much. Same floor arrangements, same catering, word word. same vows, word for word. What about <laughs> same, <laughs> call each other, Avital and Amir. Same guest, same guest <laughs> list. So same my parents' same friends guess. would yeah, be there. Exactly. Yeah. There's Everything's no way. the same. I'm wearing her dress. Daniel's and wearing your suit. ultimately, it's still a double wedding with Jeff. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, if you wore her dress, that would really piss that, me yeah. off. That Everything would else, take it. that's a Everything final Everything else is fine. Vows word for word, I'll allow. Speaking of baby talk, Jeff, when we recorded our pod the other day, we were doing a bit and... Instead of saying hung like a horse, you said hung like a horsey, which has really stuck with me. And I would love for you to never say that again. Well, well, OK, that. so hung like a horse means you have a giant hog. But I am hung like a horsey because it's kind of no. medium. Like a horsey baby, like a it's baby a horsey. It's a small toy. It's a small wooden toy for a dog. Because it's sponsored by Hasbro. <laughs> like a rocking horse. So that was part of the low of my week was hearing that. Um, this, I thought you guys were going to ask, what is Boxing Day? <laughs> Did Instead you feel like tradition? Did you forget that I grew punishment. up in an Irish household, so I've always kind of done Boxing Day. Don't okay. erase Riley's Irish heritage. It he d- never does. In fact, he makes Both it the of only you guys key are trait about white me. Races that don't get discriminated against anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riley and Spa, when was the last time you got to tell someone I told you so? <laughs> Is this the show? This is what I every week just have been like. Please, a lot of oh, time please to come on for this one. And so I was just on with Ferris, and I said, "Hey, if you have any segment ideas, let her rip." Because I didn't have a ton of time. This is um, it's a busy week for me because I'm moving in cross yeah. country. Yeah. Und, oh, uh, actually, I I might und. know the answer to this for Riley. Okay. Riley was like. Should I do this show? It might be like a shit show. I don't think Jeff is prepared. I'm like, no, trust me. He usually comes and he brings the heat. Uh-huh. And then Riley's like, all right, we'll see. But uh, my expectations aren't high. And I said, watch this. And then we started the show. So right. I guess. Yeah. So, hey, I told you so. Play so right now. Um, the last time I was able to, uh, I'll answer for, hey, I'll throw you a bone. I'll answer for real. I'll throw you a bone. <laughs> I'll throw you a bone. Well, I um, wish you last... wouldn't see it as throwing me a bone by just participating in the show. No, I'll throw that you a bone. Be the bare I'll, I'll chime in. I'll chime in. No, it's like it's it's you deserve it. I'll chime in. The last time I got to say I told you so, I do think was when I guessed it on um our friend's show called So Yesterday. It's a nostalgia podcast, very funny, where we watch projects from our childhood, young adulthood and talk about it. And so the project I brought was the Lion King one and a half. Sure, sure. Um, and I'm like, I hope it's better than what Jeff brought because Jeff was on it too, and he brought of the worst movie they've ever seen. Not really. But they though, were like, right? they were like, well, thank God, yours is going to be so much better than Jeff's. And then it ended. I'm like, it might not be. And they're like, of course it will be. I'm like, I told you so. It was trash. <laughs> you saw you, and this was so, Lion King one and a half. It was trash. This is absolutely Lion King one and a half. Isn't the conceit of that movie that 
it's Timon and Pumbaa doing like director's commentary on kind of it's a little bit that and it's it's basically like here's our story and at first it's like it's kind of appealing because it's like oh it's Timon and Pumbaa the most fun part of the Lion King but then it's like you ever have too much cotton candy at the fair? You want to eat the whole bag and then nice. you throw up? That's what Lion King one and a half is like. It's yeah. like, why aren't I just watching the Lion King? It's like in 1776, if Richard Henry Lee was in every scene, it wouldn't be funny. Yes. You know, it's that you get him in that one and then you get him at the end when it's all said and done. And I'm really glad that we're throwing around very universal pieces of um, <laughs> culture, like 1776 and Lion King one and a half. It's something that like everyone can relate to For and be like, sure. oh, totally. I know what that is. I yeah. know what that's I like. Mean, Ferris, you get, you get it. Let's bring it home with two of my close personal friends, Riley Ann Spahn and Zach Dunn. Oh, uh, there we go. Hi, go. Jeff. It's Riley. Oh, my God. A hundred right? episodes of the HeadGum Podcast. I mean... Congrats, you guys. Like, this is Thank such you. an achievement, and I am so thrilled for all of you. I mean, congratulations. Oh, yeah. um, and if I could just share anything, Jeff, you know, I, you are one of my best friends in this world. I, I love nice. you so much. Um, and I just really want to nice. give you the permission to just drop the mask. You don't need to try this hard. You try so, so hard hard i mean like in every area it's like you really are just like you push to be seen as like this <laughs> funny, I I can say this. effervescent bubbly happy go lucky guy and i just <sighs> want to give you the permission to stop to slow down to just not force it you know you yeah. force everything so hard and just like just be mm. you know you're enough and i know that you don't feel that way but honestly like at the end of I the agree. day you are enough so just stop just stop. Yeah. You're pushing so hard. And I actually think that pushing is pushing other people away because they can feel how fake it is Not and really. feel how sad you are inside. <laughs> um, so just let that all go. Let that all go and stop trying so hard. Okay, bud? Happy 100 episodes. Congrats, you guys. Much love. Hmm. That one was I trending think, towards I think issue therapy. With that one because yes. it kind because of, the show is kind of the soundboard and vice versa. So well, I right, just it someone else would have it. And vice versa. What's that? <laughs> he said the the show is the soundboard and vice versa. So the soundboard is the show. He's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's it's not, not good, wrong. but he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> just us. <laughs> okay. You never really know somebody's body. Until you've eaten their ass at least twice. It can't be like a one-time experiment, experimental thing. It has to be an actual thing. <laughs> My favorite part is when you misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I also, I guess, also feel free to respond in any way that you guys want. Well, I guess I wasn't sure what the point of that was. So it was it like, oh, how much of that can I withstand? Yeah. Okay. Because I hear you say shit like that all the time, <laughs> and so it was just kind of like waiting. You're good, Amir. You can you can put volume on. You can yeah. Again, if I on. wave. Um. Idiot. Oh. Should I come but, back or? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess that I'm not scared of that. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Jake, Jake did read <laughs> Jeff's palm, and um, it was devastating because not only yeah. was it like bad for Jeff because he has a short lifeline, he has a wistful lifeline Correct. that uh, Jake taught us is like the life. <laughs> it's you basically wondering <laughs> what if your whole life. Like, I do what that if currently. I have chosen this? My entire life has been what um, if. What made it worse is that. Jake and Jeff were sitting at the head of the table, so everyone was watching mm-hmm. Jeff's life just fall apart as Jake discovered more and more things about um about his palm. Um <laughs> so Jeff, have you been thinking more about that? What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? What are you getting at? That you you will never be satisfied with like whatever you do. That there's always gonna be something running alongside you that's like Man, if only. Yeah, how does that make you feel? Mm.
If you want a real answer, you might need to come back to me. I need to think about right. it. Ooh, what you Honest. say? <laughs> da, 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 da. I'd also like to see your ass. All right. Yeah. I've been waiting. Casey? We just needed a yes. Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, sure. Yes. Definitely. I, sa I said yes. Now? I said Mariko? <laughs> I have also already seen your ass, so yes. Hello. Oh, my God. It's John C. <laughs> <laughs> That is Hearts Kindred by Zona Gale. Zona <laughs> Gale. Of course it is. Of course. Oh my god. No. Mine was an, a, a snowman, snowman shaped, shaped mug. Ooh. Which Fun. was pretty cool. And what Jeff pack? did pay for it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> which is all I can really ask for. Uh, yeah. So for Jeff, that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you I, for that, Marie I'd Gashi say. Is. Right. Holy so Jeff shit. paid for the drink. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Paid for the drink. So, nice and, and yeah, you did a nice thing. And in that way, my year started fine. Fine. Um, Jeff, shut the fuck up. <laughs> really uncomfortable. You pitched a live stream where you sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Land the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I meant it truly as like a bullying thing, but it yeah. was going to come out a different no, way. No, what were you going to say? Where you spanked my ass. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> For 24 hours. Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, and with like I a build, vengeance like, too. I like, not... like a machine that just like, yeah. does, I got to go sleep. So it's just going to keep going. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You get some shut eye. <laughs> well, this thing spanks my shit eye. <laughs> Oh, oh, Amir's not here. Now I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> yeah. Saying that. Um, okay. Um, I literally told Daniel as I was getting ready to come here, I'm like, I don't have to do anything. Like, I don't have to <laughs> prep anything. This isn't my show. Yeah. I don't have to try. You didn't bring anything? Well, There's like 20 minutes that I was like, oh, Riley will fill that. Wish I would have known. I mean, I can do it. I have, I, mean, no, I, I have a little. I'll it. figure it out. At least there was a <laughs> big today, topic yeah, of the that was big. night. Really, that was it was big. It ultimately three was like Riley's hair. hair. I felt very Amir's good wedding. About mm -hmm. Marty's Jake's birthday. baby. Oh, yeah. Marty's Marty's birthday. birthday. Yeah. Right. I'm a lot happy happened. to be third. Um, we were in a circle. We were hanging out, catching up, and then there's this little three year old child who I believe is the daughter of of Amir and Avital's friends, and she was running around and she was like <laughs> going up to the group and just being like. And Amir oh, was like, yeah. oh, she's really? trying to scare you. She was just kind of screaming at right. people. And it was very sweet. We were all pretending to be scared. Yeah, <laughs> and I did that to her like, too. She did it to me. She, yeah, she made, it la made yeah. me laugh. And then Pyle screamed. Like, she was like, ah. And Pyle like, leaned down. And he's like, ah. And they were kind of going out for a bit. And then I guess Pyle like, <laughs> took it up one notch too far. And at zero to 60, she was just like, ah. <laughs> she like <laughs> ran away and at first we're like is she laughing and then you just hear muffled like, <laughs> like oh, oh my no. god and we're like pile you made that girl cry and he's like no i didn't <laughs> like, yeah dude and then i didn't see this but then you from across the bar i just look up and i see this girl in her parents arms and she's like Pointing and pile. she's pointing at Pyle like that's him. That's, that's the bad, bad, that's man. bad man. It was it bad. was crazy though because I would say they were pretty evenly matched in terms of yeah. height. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but also. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, Riley, you ready for verse two? Let's go, Riley. Here we go, Santa baby. There you go now. Santa baby, I'm sorry for what I said about the tree. <laughs> I'll keep my penis away, Santa baby. Can I still get a present today? <laughs> you really PG'd it up. Well, you saved it so that it's be on radio. Keep my penis away. <laughs> yeah. I'll put my penis away. <laughs> Oh. That was nothing. Oh, I didn't see that was anything. no face. Okay. Um, I do remember Claire Slaughter, Amir Schmuel Blumenfeld, and I took a lift from the airport to our hotel when we got to Chicago, and yeah. I remember our our lift driver was like asking. 
was <laughs> <laughs> like asking what we were doing there and we were trying to get him to come. We're like, oh, you know, we're doing like a comedy podcast festival. You should come. And he's like, oh, you guys, you guys do comedy. And we're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was like, like telling us he was like telling us really long and kind of not great jokes and we we didn't laugh because we were loving they were it done. <laughs> of course egging him on at knife and point and then like he would finish it and he'd be like yeah so that's kind of the joke and like we were kind of felt like we had to laugh and all of us were texting each other we're like is he should we jump out and at one point i think we like Amir made a Amir made a joke and just pointed to some abandoned building like on the side of the street. He's like, "Oh well, this is us," and it was like more of a joke for us. And the driver was like, "No, that's not where you're. No, that can't be where you're staying." And we're yeah, like, so, no, it's sorry, not. I don't know if you were joking or not because you said you were funny. Is what he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be right back. I have something caught in my throat. It's COVID. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I, I've had something caught in my throat for a while. It's not COVID. Be right back. I'm going to go just like um, figure this out really quick. Yeah. And you're sure you don't just like need a break? She's, no, I'm positive. You can really keep going. She says yeah. it's not COVID and you then she says this she's camera positive. This camera just turned out. wrong. Yep. Right. Got it. So sorry, your camera. Yeah, Jeff is now in the dark because he, he's sort of alone. No in the more seeing room. me, I guess. Uh, no, the other cameras are on. Yep. Because I need to. Make sure that yeah, I'm on. Yours turned off. And if somebody, you're just serves extremely you. blurry. It's yeah. just well, like they were all out of focus, which makes no sense because no one is ever sitting in an area that's not these chairs. So it should theoretically right. never be out of focus. Exactly. That's what like what I miss. You were gone for like you got for seconds. so brief a moment. <laughs> Did you go <laughs> clear your throat? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be on. That's clear. fine to be on mic. It's okay to clear your throat. And if nah, somebody you wouldn't have wanted to hear that one. That was a. Oh, was he just did, a, did, he did like a seven minute song about burning rice. I don't think we need to worry. <laughs> the show has changed in certain ways since the what last time you were on, now? Riley. Have, you haven't heard it at all. Sorry, I've been really busy dealing with the crowds. They follow me every. The crowd. <sighs> that one, yeah. The one you do. <sighs> So it's you walking around Hollywood just going. <sighs> well, the Amir, Amir has one too. I loved it. <sighs> yeah, it's fun. A hot yeah. exhale. A hot exhale. <laughs> um, it feels like a celebration of me. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, the show started as a happy hour of sorts, kind of like us all hanging out. And now it's everybody against me and vice versa. Cleveland versus God. the world, I guess. Yeah. Right? It's like, I, 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 again, and I've said, it, I've said it on every episode, but I shoot a couple conversation enders off. And you have to sort of navigate the rocky terrain that I lay bare. Oh, my God. So it's literally so this podcast is literally just like what it feels like to text you. <laughs> It's That's worse. what the head worse because I expected it. it's real time reactions. You don't have time to okay. think, or even time to kind of put your phone down and like rub your eyes, like yeah. God damn it, or even ignore. Frankly, it's <laughs> a lot tougher to ignore too. Actually, every time piles on the show, he just kind of <laughs> glares at me. So I think ignore is an option. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Goldie, what time did you get up? Goldie's moving. She's trying to say that this is this is what she does when she's trying to like threaten you and be like, "You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy." She's trying to threaten me. Yeah. Trying if to. you're if you're just listening to this, uh, there's a baby here. Yeah. 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 Podcast person. Stop. Sorry. Stop. You know that actually reminds me. You know George saying that it's, it's like all that's true, George. I think Jeff, like in the face of everything, you are you are really uh, you, you're taking a good lead on it. In the but face of adversity, I shine. Yeah. That being, you know, that little point George brought up of like, oh, this happened three weeks ago. Like you're really still holding on to it. Like you can't seem yeah. to shake it. Like that actually bleeds. I want to say that bleeds into the other show, and that is just yeah. like you can't seem to let anything go. Like we, like even like oh my god, when Finn and Billy were on, and like yeah. they, like I was having such a good time with them. It's like we've had I them was on multiple too until times. The point. Well, that's the thing is like even in our episode with Lamorne and and Billy, you yeah. brought it up, and we cut yeah. that out. But you were like, sorry, Finn is just like God. Could you believe that fucking it guy? Sticks with me. It builds. Yeah, and you gotta like let it go. Thank you, George, for bringing that up. All good yeah. points, Jeff. You can't let anything go to save your life. All right, is that it? Or, or... Yeah, I have nothing to add. <sighs> well, uh, <laughs> onward, right? I didn't cry at Amir's fast. 
I did. I had I had already cried. Cried I much. cried at Amir's vows yeah. because I cried it's like when you have someone who doesn't emote, right? Yeah. yeah. And they do. Yeah. That's like yeah. you know, when it's you like started edging. crying. That's yeah. when that was, I like fully yeah. lost it. I wasn't. <laughs> I didn't. Cut that I was laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, should, I was. Yeah. Don't. Jeff just bared his. Chest. Sorry, I'm Venmoing Riley. Hang on a second. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay. You really Are you Venmoing a thousand dollars? Yeah, he is. I'm not gonna send it back. It's gonna really put me out. This is that's I fi- this is I fifteen hundred and seventy one dollars in my bank account. And I just sent you a thousand. Too much. As we've said before, it's entirely your fault. You've lost tens of thousands oh of dollars. Oh my god! This is my face when I open the Chase banking app next. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. One. That was pretty good. <laughs> Jeff, I can't. I- I can't accept this. You just said you were going to send Please send it back. I'd love it if you sent it back. I'm absolutely going to oh send you this back because I can't accept word of the week parentheses. Do you want me to say it? Am I allowed to say it? Mm-hmm. It's Jeff, isn't word it? Word of the week is Jeff. Yeah. And I can't accept you paying me $1,000 for saying your name. All right. Riley and I were doing the, I'm, I, I don't know how to intro this. Riley and I were doing this bit all last Thursday and Friday. Um, mostly Thursday, I guess, where it's sort of like a trailer. It's like a movie trailer. Um, <laughs> but for basically Santa self-completing. Does that make sense? Oh, there's I no, like that. But there's no euphemism. It's just yeah, like, not- this Christmas, Santa comes hard. Oh, <laughs> so that's, that's the fucking uh, From format. the people who brought you the Easter bunny comes. This Christmas, Santa comes in his hand. <laughs> it's like you're not getting us at the end there. You already it said something Christmas, really crass. Santa jerks off his cock. <laughs> exactly right. Miles, That's why don't right. you hit us with one? Get ready because December's Eve, Santa's gonna blast off his orgasm a lot with his cock. <laughs> exactly right. This Santa's Christmas? gonna spooge from his penis. <laughs> This, this Christmas, Christmas Santa's, Santa's gonna spreading wide really to get pegged. <laughs> Santa's going to jerk off in the shower. This Christmas, <laughs> Santa's breaking his chastity vow to finish. <laughs> you think Santa has a chastity vow to, to Mrs. get Claus? shit done? <laughs> He's done no nut this millennium. No nut no millennium? Not millennium. Yes. That's crazy. And That's NM. crazy. When, you, when Santa comes after that, yeah. it's going to be huge. This Christmas, Santa nuts in a sock. Oh, man. The idea of Santa nutting. In a nutting stocking. It, in a stocking. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I saw mommy nutting Santa Claus. <laughs> hey, I saw come mommy on. milking Santa Claus. Come on. <laughs> come on. There's blue humor, and then there's this crassness that I won't stand for. Let's oh, get a because, reset because, because of the music. Oh, oh just, no, it's because you said oh, milk it's 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 old. Old. We're getting a little. He's not if wrong. you want to be an well, internet C-lister. Get yeah. COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Out of secrets out, bitch. <laughs> like you to heard drive it here, my folks. car. We tried to get him an Uber. I want to drive my car. Keep going. <laughs> on the road with the other drivers. <laughs> so it's not a song. It's just like a weird I want poem. to drive my car <laughs> on the road. The road. Now, oh. <laughs> I didn't watch it recently. I've just been thinking about it a lot. And yeah, then Elvis course. and Austin Butler discourse because it's yeah. just like, where are Tyron Edgerton's flowers? He made the best yeah. music biopic uh, in a really long time. And uh, no. we asked Jeffrey. What about Todger Edgerton? Like cock? <laughs> like the British slang term for <laughs> cock, Todger? Is that the joke that you're making? <laughs> Have you been? Like, pe- yeah, forget it. It's like in the Harry, yeah. Harry book. Thank I you. I put it on my Todger. Thank you, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> my penis was oscillating between freezing cold and burning hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets mad on Colbert for him bringing it up. <laughs> you wrote Reminded it. Reminded me of my mother. <laughs> <laughs>
But rumor has it, he's motherfucking hung. <laughs> this is Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> this is Voldemort. <laughs> this has it. He's the one I'm Voldemort. <laughs> this is Voldemort. <laughs> this is Voldemort. Uh, no, obviously not. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I didn't know was that at some point, Blumenfeld would follow suit. So Am I sorry, right? Did you Let's did you not think Amir would get married, all. or you didn't think he would find somebody? What was that? It's I different can't hear you things. Over the well, you interrupted me with the music, oh so God. it actually doesn't really fucking matter. The first dirty. After that, first it started dirty of many. Yes, and then the About last professional one professional yo-yoing <laughs> called uh, the game has changed. And, uh, uh, called the game has changed. Uh, called the game uh, has uh, changed. I'm moving these just in case he does the mean thing. <laughs> uh, I'm actually in 2011. Uh, um, actually, I married a yo-yo legally. Because Jess really get a yo-yo, but he doesn't bring it up that much. I take it day by day because I feel like I'm going through. I've noticed a pattern where it's like I'll have three really good days, and then wow. I'll have one really sad day. So it's That's like I'm on a high for three and down for one. And it's kind right. of that roller coaster where it's, a, <laughs> it's sad and scared. Because you're probably <laughs> taking one pill every other day. The Molly that I gave you, you want a mm -hmm. microdose. So you're taking okay. like break that up into thirds. And then because I'm sort of just constantly riding that wave. Right, right, right. And like, so if, I, if I do the microdose, hit, it won't be the, the So there's the, the no the dip. Valley. Yeah, It'll there's be no dip. Even. I'm just like really chill. Good. Yeah, I'm chill right now. Yeah, I well, can tell by your tweets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marie and Amir mute. Riley's turn. Okay. Brushing your teeth more than once a day is truly overkill. Trust me. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> saying shit like that. In the <laughs> also, the crowd went dead silent. When you're you, the crowd, when you though, you're intro. the crowd. You hmm? were the one making no. the crowd sounds. What? That's you were not in me. control of whether or not they cheered for me, and instead they didn't even. Other cheer way around. For me. Other What's way that? around. How I so? Wish. The crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd controlled her. I don't think so. Yeah. Because there's no crowd. It's the four of us. We're on a Zoom call. It just makes me feel lesser than. And I know that wasn't your intention. And I know that wasn't mm. your intention. But I just like, it actually makes me feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I, and I would appreciate it if you like just confirmed that it wasn't your intention to make me feel that way. Because it actually is like everybody's kind of staring at me like, hey man, Let's you get really started. Made, made you want to feel like. Let's get started. Let's, get Let's start. start. Let's start. I know. If you're just listening to this, you need to watch. You need to watch this <laughs> because there is Jeff is has a actual human baby on the couch next to him. Yeah. And if you're just yeah. missing this, this is the Headgun Podcast. This is in the final hour and a half of Jeff's surprise 24 hour live stream where he's been hour, hour. Sorry, the final hour, final late. hour, final hour. Um, because it's the final hour. And he's been watching or neglecting a baby doll. And Anya did just bring in an actual baby because he's had. Oh. oh, wow. Um, earlier yesterday, Jeff did say, "I don't like babies," oh, and now yeah. she's grabbing his hand. He's been he's been saying it all night long. I actually all night long neglect. All right, all yes. night. <laughs> not both. Of well, them. I mean, listen, Jeff. Like that's all well and good, and I'm really glad that you're taking. It seems like you're taking that to heart, but yeah. um, it's gr I think it's really important that you brought George and I on because it's like we're not here to talk about. The games. We're not here to talk about the structure. We're here to talk about you, right? It's like we're like character witnesses in a way. And so it's like I'm glad that like we have today to yeah. really dive in deep to to the man in the mirror, to Jeffrey Aaron James. Yeah. And like really kind of like see what's going on. And you guys know me like outside the show, you know, because sometimes I think people think that I'm some kind of maniac. I and I did play it because of Squidward. Did you well. played Squid Clarence because you liked the Squid. I played a woodwind because of Squidward. Well, it's interesting you bring don't up music because it sounds like don't essence try at all. No, no, I'm that not agreeing with you. Don't look at me no, like that. Yeah, it exactly it didn't right. even have no. the same vowel sound. It, What's your next week gonna be? Dick. <laughs> 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 the word at 25k. I do a. I almost doxed a private investor. <laughs> oh my god. You're almost you're always almost doxing. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Is that fair to say? Please bleep that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. 
please take that out. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave it in. You might. You, might. you sometimes you do. You do sometimes. <laughs> like I'm not. I'm, I'm you being now you're deadly just, serious. Now you're just, please remember. Now you're that. just scared for a week, basically. A hundred percent. This is how. This is how. Reacted, yeah, right? now this is a nice way to be like that. Out. But seriously, yeah, I had to cut that part. Yeah. You could have the reindeer because you want to know why he's dasheringly handsome. Come on, Vixen's guys. the hot one. Vixen's the one that fucks. You got no, Dasher, Vixen's the bomb girl. Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. Prancer is a fucking I don't know. Comed, cute, comed. Prancer's comed. way too comed. skinny to COVID. be bombed. Cupid. COVID. COVID. <laughs> Oh, oh, Omicron. Okay. Delta. RSV and Vixen. And Hepatitis um, B. Yeah. <laughs> the deer. <laughs> um, you might think something and then it turns out to be something else. The new Hillary season Swank? of Dairy Girls dropped today, by the way. It did? Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. <laughs> My neighbors hate me. <laughs> that's a separate issue. That wasn't even about me yelling. Yeah, yeah it doesn't feel like that's Unrelated. about noise. No. Yeah. I remember, I think it was Anya or Marika or Allie. I've, it's been so <laughs> long ago who reached out and was like, hey, can you hop on a Zoom with us to talk like some headgum creative thing? Oh, and yeah. I was like, at, at 1099, I'm like, I'm being included in a work meeting. <laughs> okay, I'm employed. Big day. Big day, getting benefits. <laughs> and I was really confused to see you not there. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, I okay. was in that meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I was like, wait, in, in my head, because I'm like, oh, well, if they're inviting me to a creative meeting, then it's like, I, Jeff's going to be there, too. Yeah. And you weren't there. And so then I was like, what the fuck? And then that's when I remember your face. Jeff. I remember your face like very scared. I was nervous because yeah. we should have had a screenshot of that. We put that on, t- on, the, <laughs> on the wall as well. The energy was very much something's going on yes. and there's a reason Jeff's not yes. here. And it, and and I and you didn't know why. I, I, I'm nervous was for a like, second. I'm maybe like something there's a had shift. happened. Yes. You yeah. Thought, I thought you were like leaving or something. Oh. Like, or, or that they were going to tell me that something had happened. An and then HR I pitched this. Uh, yes. The final well, straw. I mean, that's like backlogged yeah. till <laughs> forever. Right. Um, but then it was this. I'm like, oh, amazing. Fats. And, yeah. It's, yeah. And it sounds good for a meal. Based. And then it gets like, sorry, one second. It sounds good for a meal. And then you sort of get <laughs> nauseous thinking about it. Or it's like, oh my God, so much oil. Like, oil, yeah. It's kind of yeah, like how you feel before up. you eat fast I food. Am. What's that, Jeff? I am. And I'll edit Stop. this part out. I, I am stopping. That, like, I yeah, just I was saying, oh I was saying, I was saying that like before you eat fast food, you really fucking crave it. And then at the end, you feel kind of gross. <laughs> yep. Always regret it. Yeah, I feel like the yeah. keto diet is that. Like, I don't know anyone that feels great after having like a five by five from In and Out or something, even if it's protein style with no bun. Yeah, the mm-hmm. issue sometimes Jeffrey, is Jeffrey, Aaron, keto- James. I swear to shut fucking the fuck God. Up. Jeff, shut the shut fuck, the up. fuck I am. up. Jeff, okay, Amir, last time you got to say I told you so? Oh, that's a good question. I love that question. <laughs> Before we move on from dieting, just thyroid issues, it could actually get at it delete. To thyroid issues. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, God, I, <laughs> this is sports related, but you know, I'm a Laker fan and Clippers were up big and it's just like, I'm telling Clipper Nation, don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. <laughs> they're they're going to blow it. That's what the Clippers do. And he's like, no, this is a new Clipper team. We got Kawhi Leonard. We have proven winners. And so, what's so funny, Jeff? What was so funny? You were like saying things joyfully, but they were rude sentences. So like there was like a, there was a disconnect there and that's what the comedy was coming from. And so I was just kind of Oh, chuckling. wow. What a great show. People love when you explain a joke. That's I the didn't want to. People love I didn't when want you to. And he said what was funny, I had to explain it. He put me on the spot. <laughs> and <laughs> if somebody oh, serves okay. you rice. You said, you said you weren't going to sing, sing it. it again. That you was said- talk singing. That was talk singing. No. That's halfway. But not all the way. Though. No, that's what you were doing. The song you talk sang. If I sing, if I say that I'm abstaining from sex for a summer, I feel like I we kiss people. What? Sorry. I... What the fuck is wrong with you? In this moment, the exact quote was that I guess Steely Dan was wrong. You can buy a thrill, and then nobody fucking laughed. You just interrupted Marika, right? <laughs> I feel like that was just the normal flow of conversation. But, uh, well, yeah. you feel that. Well, you feel yeah, that because that's totally what you do. Interrupted, but because you do it yeah. all the time. So you're like, oh, for me, that's normal conversation. <laughs> 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 but it's not for everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that went down as like Marika started saying something and you said, I remember the quote. I remember the exact <laughs> quote. And I was like, those are cutting off words. 
So other than the U.S. national well, has <laughs> army sure, reserves. But... What what's new in the life and times of Marie Jude? <laughs> <laughs> Um, fuck, I mean, <laughs> what, I mean, what's bigger than that, right? Your middle names? <laughs> yeah. Or the commercial? Both. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go see, the, I'm forgetting the name of it, but the, the new Colin Farrell, Martin McDonough movie it's tonight. The Banshees, the Banshees of, of Inisherin. Yes, I'm seeing that it's tonight, great. I think. I'm very excited. It's so. Favorite movie of the year. Wow. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's awesome, and um, it's very Irish, so it's like. You know, it's like what? Get <laughs> what? What do you? What does that have to do with you? You're taking credit for Ireland. How? <laughs> what? <laughs> and you acted like we all knew. <laughs> well, you know, it's very. Say it. What do you have to do with Ireland? I'm. All, I'm curious. Do you guys know, or is it like common knowledge? <laughs> okay, we've never done this before. <laughs> what? I want you guys to. Take out your phones, start recording a voice memo, and go out into the other room and settle this. No way. Why does it have to be over? No, 100%. And then when you come back in, whatever, I'll edit it in seamlessly. We'll hear the conflict resolution. (laughs) In full, that'll take 10, 15 minutes. And I I remember I have an art art out, so. Ah, the show doesn't go on. (laughs) You fucking kidding? (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to... (laughs) <laughs> Judging Manchi. What? America's newest game show where the only rule is you got to judge Manchi. Uh, we're going <laughs> to listen to last. Riley left her phone in oh. our Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, when we arrived. Um, I did. So I, uh, Amrika and I took an Uber. We get to the venue. We're, we get there, we see our friends, we go to the bar, we have a drink, we have a bruschetta. And then I think, wow. How are the apps? I didn't get to experience them. Delightful. You didn't have the ham chowder? Um, you didn't have anything from the, the sushi bar? The music was great. The light was golden. Should, it the was hour was golden. mariachi band. And then I think, yeah. wow, this is so beautiful. I want to take a photo on my phone or take a video of like all my friends. And then I reach into my purse, phone's nowhere to be found. Mm. Oh, wow. So that's pretty far after the Uber has left. Yes. We've been there for about 30 minutes, yeah. 45 minutes. Wow. Good on and you for not even looking at your phone for 30 minutes. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Way to be, way to and, be in the moment. Um, thank you so much. I had tweeted four times by then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. So I'm looking at like, I'm looking at all the tables where it might be. I look at the bar, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then Jeff was like, I asked Jeff, I'm like, Joel Jeff was like, this is why I wish that we were sharing our locations with each other because then I could see your phone. And I'm like, okay, well, can I text Daniel from your phone so he knows that? Can I, I just, but I don't yeah, like the yeah. way that you, that's not the tone that I took. That I is literally like, what you oh, said. Oh, I can't, I really wish, oh, and like, and you're the barrier to entry. We just don't. We used to, and then you stopped it first. Because I'm off the grid. That's right. So, <laughs> so then I text Daniel. Into and I'm like, hey, just let me know. I lost my phone. And um, and then I'm like, can you, because Daniel and I share each other's locations. I'm like, can you look and see where my phone is? And in the meantime, <laughs> Jeff and I will go. Jeff's like, you should have Daniel call your phone. So it's uh, ringing in the lift. And we do that. And then it takes us maybe 20 Two times of Daniel calling it for me to be like, you know, Jeff, you could also call my phone from your phone. <laughs> right. You also have my number. Yeah. But then Daniel sent a screenshot. The phone says it's at the Houdini estate. Oh. And so we're like, interesting. How did that happen? Um, Uber driver dropped it off. Uber driver dropped it off at Smart. security. Left it with valet. And nice. so multiple people. Multiple people. Had been like, anyone lose their phone? And yep. we just hadn't noticed. Hadn't wow. seen it. So I went, wow. I finally, I, I grab it. And then later at the reception, we're chatting it up with uh, Billy Scafuri, and I think like I had my phone. I was going to show him a picture or something, and then he sees my background, and he just like he starts dying laughing, and he's like, "That's your phone, <laughs> Billy." I, yeah, and he's like, "I've seen that phone a lot today." Because everyone is coming up to him asking if he had lost it. I, no, I think it's just like he had. We seen has to move on. We around. has to move on. <laughs> we has to move on. I can has commercial burger. Santa baby. Please unlock my chastity belt. belt. It hurts. <laughs> I'm not kidding right now, no. Santa baby. I have a little rash on my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little, a little chafing near thigh. here. My groin is chafed right, right now. <laughs> yeah. My Ned 
Flanders as is Bond, a fully Chris animated Pratt Bond. As oh. Mario as, as Bond. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. So give us the name is Bond, James Bond, but in Chris Pratt's voice as Mario. As so this Bond. is Riley as Pratt as Mario. As Bond. <laughs> this is me. Yeah, me as Pratt as Mario as Bond. <laughs> the name's Bond. James Bond. All right, now I'm going to give you Riley as Pratt as Mario as Bond. <laughs> so this is me as Riley as Pratt as Mario as Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. Uh, I'll do a mirror <laughs> as Riley as Pratt as Mario as Bond. Okay. The name's Bond. <laughs> James Bond. That was me, not Riley. That was you. <laughs> oh, my superhero? So glad you asked. I did. Um <laughs> to talk about let's let's talk about a looper a loop. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm mixing up my words. Let's That's talk funny. about a little superhero called My Bad Girl. So my bad girl. She her How do you say ability, it? Because you said it twice different ways. The proper way to say it is my bad girl. So, I mean, you could just uh, call her my my bad girl, but that's not at all what she likes to hear. Like, sure. you're not going to be like, ooh, where's my bad girl? Like, mm. she hates that. Like, because that's not her. Like, she's not sure. a bad girl. It's, oh, my bad girl. She's a superhero. She's a superhero. And she's, <laughs> yeah. So her whole thing is basically, like, she she's learned to pick up on social cues really well. Um and she's done it in a way to to kind of know it's like you know where she's wanted and and when it's time for her to go, um, and so it, it, the origin story of that is basically like she was at a at a hang at a little kickback and and kind of overstayed her welcome. She got a little too happy to be there. It got to the point <laughs> where the people the people like who own the home were just like, hey, um, Stephanie, you actually like we're really tired and we got work in the morning and and she's like, oh. I- my bad. Oh my god! And then she left. So that's kind of how she. That's she picks up on it. Yeah. So that's kind of her thing. <laughs> so she doesn't save people. <laughs> she saves face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if, you know, if the city's in danger, she will. She'll. She'll get on out of there. She knows where where she's not helpful. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So evacuations, etc. My bad, girl. 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 Cries and Wave said, girl? "You guys should do the Headgum yeah. podcast. That's <laughs> showbiz baby thing. Like have a bunch of shows, but we all round That's robin fun. of sorts have to switch hosts yeah. for different shows for a streaming. What one that would, you that would be host? great. What one would I want to host? Yeah, of all of them on the network. Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> That's that would be fun really I know fucking nothing funny. Nothing about basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't know either. The w- during- Ali and I hosting buckets. buckets. Oh my god! Earlier right. today, the Gucci store in Century City at the Century City Mall was robbed by nine fools. That was today. Maybe yesterday. It and I just I wanted to know. If I wanted you, I wanted you guys to guess. It was sort Sorry, of like a so conversation there was no starter. Joke. It was just how many does it take? I think you're gonna be like one to watch the door. One to da da da. But it, you just like guess the number. I thought it was a conversation starter. You thought. That one straight up has hole. That's why it's cropped so high. Also, you could see my dick and balls in this one. <laughs> oh uh, so I had to crop it. Oh, and this was the this was the other one. <laughs> was uh I hate being this close to the city. <laughs> right next to it. An oh inch away. <laughs> Are you, <laughs> are you flexing Can your I butt somehow? Yeah. Jesse, my buddy, is like, Jeff and Marty have this, like, uh, love-hate relationship going on. He's like, you guys were arguing a lot during the day. <laughs> Marty that said at one point to Jeff, he, and by said, I mean, he exploded at Jeff. He goes. And this is unrelated to the shirt. This goes, is a different this explosion. Is a different explosion. So multiple explosions happened. We're, like, casually talking about, like, if you we ever got married, say. what it would look like. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, Jeff and I have this bit. It's not a bit. We're gonna have a double wedding. We're gonna get married at the same time, like right next to bit. each other, yeah. it's and it's all gonna be wedding. happening like at the same. Yeah. It's not Dueling gonna be like separate. We like it's double planned wedding. it while yeah. you were there. She's double like, wedding. oh, it'll save confirmed. costs. I'm like, no, it'll just be double the cost. Double wedding. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about that, and then <laughs> Marty just erupts <laughs> and shouts. He goes, 
if you have a wedding <laughs> that's not in Los Angeles, I am not fucking coming. <laughs> <laughs> really, like, out and I was like, of like, are like dead serious. Dead anger. serious. Dead serious. As if, like, if we you dragged have a wedding him to not Maine LA, for this I am wedding. not fucking coming. He yeah. was in LA for this wedding it too, so he, sh- yeah. he didn't have to be yeah. angry. It was a schlep though with the with the Shop. boot. Yeah, um, let's it's just a move on. Show um, in about two, of the 2011, <laughs> um, I like got the idea to like I wanted to take this a step further. <laughs> Why do you sound you have to take like a, break. a Disney Channel nerd? <laughs> Why do you sound like uh, in 2011? Uh, in- <laughs> Okay. Sorry, so this podcast um, is just us listening to last week's <laughs> podcast. Are you fucking kidding? That wasn't the intro. Are song. you fucking kidding? That wasn't the intro. You song. literally have been asking me for weeks to come on a podcast, and the podcast is just finally getting me to listen to the other episodes of this podcast. Are you for fucking real? Are you for fucking real right now? The only thing I got out of this day is my family. I got to experience it with my brothers and learn something new about our dad. That's the best part of this for me. No, not listening to you trying to find something that Ferris did wrong, right? Sort of hard as all to find, you know, gaps. And sorry, what? It's hard to find mistakes. And what he did. It's hard. To, exactly. So yeah. why the it's fuck about. is it a segment? So why the fuck is that a game? It's if like we're a just gonna game, be nitpicking it's a game show. an episode. It's like a hunt. It's like scavenger hunt. <laughs> a game so show. You're stupid. trying to fucking embarrass this guy. He's helping you out. And he's right. And you're wrong. What's the game? <laughs> Let's just, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Let's not do the segment. No. No, I don't want to forget it because that lets you off the hook. I want to. We cannot do the segment, but I'll never forget this. No, yeah, this has to be a a major part of the episode and our history. (laughs) Tonight or today, I'm just doing work. I rescheduled an oil change to come be here. You can do that anytime. I know. Well, so I was on the phone, Daniel. If you're watching, I was on. Daniel called me this morning. And he's like, are you going to do the HeadGum podcast? I'm like, well, I left my hydro flask at the studio last night, so I actually have to go back and get it. And last night, Anya was like, oh, do you want to hop on the HeadGum pod? And I'm like, oh, I have an oil change at noon. And Daniel's like, that is such a stupid fucking excuse. He's like, you, I'm like, I've rescheduled it three times. He's like, you don't know them. They don't give a shit. Yeah. And then I was like, Jiffy I'm, Lube like but I'm, I'm like, but honestly, Daniel, I'm like, I'm really tired. And he was dying. He's like, you have to go tell him that. That genuinely like, makes me mad. You, that like, pisses you me off. You have to go tell him. He's like, how much sleep did you get? I'm like eight hours. He's like, you have to go tell him that you didn't want to go at first because you're too sleepy. You're crazy for that one, Hove. <laughs> 10 p.m. at a natural wine mixer. At a heavy oh, natural wine mixer. Okay. <laughs> And like a young Hollywood mixer where <laughs> yeah. you try to network? Okay. Sure, yeah. Okay. So it's sort of an industry moment, but you think the moment might be that you're going to hook up. Okay, I want you to start the scene. Okay. <laughs> That's a great pickup line. Actually, <laughs> yeah. genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to start, <laughs> start the scene. Excuse me? <laughs> Just start the scene. Oh, I get it because I'm an actor. And yeah, and so it's... It, um, no, have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> what, uh... Have I seen you in anything? You approached me and Have asked I me to start a scene. Start a scene. Um. Yeah. I mean, not, I'm normally more modest than this, but you have. You've probably seen me in in a couple things. I'm like all over HBO. Sorry, Max, right now. Mm. Um. What do you do? Hmm? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know. I actually, because this is the, you don't know. No, I do. I just this is a young Hollywood mixer, and you're like the 19th actor I've talked to. Some directors, some producers, some writers. And so, what do you do? I'm a union man. Which union? PGA, WGA, SAG, CGA. What is that? Call Girls of America. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, I I've been told that my voice <laughs> could get even the most arid woman sopping. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yeah. Wait, well, <laughs> well not really being able to see How is them. it a game, Riley? It, what do you mean, how is it a game? <laughs> it's not a game. <laughs> what? I mean... Love is Blind is a game show. This no. is a game. Okay, what, no, it's, it's, a, not. it's no, just it's not. It is. It's just a no. segment. This, 
Let's what just keep fuck? moving forward, please. <laughs> this is a game. This isn't a game. <laughs> but too high pitched. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a balloon deflating. <laughs> <laughs> you were snorting it like Adderall. Down the piece of things. <laughs> what are you it's guys doing back there? Yeah. A fucking you, separate uh, podcast. <laughs> what are you guys saying? <laughs> Just forget it. I just was talking to Casey. I was like, it's hard to get a word in from over here. Yeah. So we have to talk about. Jeff has asked, Jen, Jeff has started two different polls. First, he started, how is everyone feeling after the wedding? We'll start with Casey. And then only, only Casey got yeah, to answer. And then he Casey. goes, what's everyone's favorite cake? Cake, cake. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Casey's, Casey's favorite cake went into Casey. Casey's woes. And went into <laughs> Casey, what was your experience? And Which you already asked him. And we already heard. <laughs> It's all about Casey. Casey this. Casey, Casey that. Casey. It's all about Casey. God damn. It's not about Jakesy. <laughs> <laughs> what was Jakesy's favorite Casey then? I already yeah, said it, it was the fucking blue one. Jakesy's favorite. What were the small? Dis- um, listen, I think that the the American canon of uh, Christmas music needs a little bit of an update. But Are I think that the do a rice song. Are you gonna be like, oh, holy rice, rice. the pie is simmering with rice. rice. It is, it is jasmine, the rice, basmati, and brown. Basmati I'm roasting right. on an open machine. <laughs> basmati roasting on an open machine. <laughs> Continue Bob's with that. Continue with on that. An open machine. <laughs> no, what were you gonna say? What? How are you gonna update the Christmas music canon? What yeah, thing are rice. you gonna do? Just it's do not it. with rice. It's with cum. What is it? No, I just thought that Bob each of us could. Off perfect person. <laughs> yes, perfect person merch. Just say it out loud. Don't. You're distracting both of us. Buy perfect merch, person guys. merch. Perfect person dot shop. All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, is this gonna be a video app? Yes, they're all video apps. I didn't know that. It, this <laughs> they're all video apps. I didn't consent to that. Look at this discontinued that. sweatshirt. I still have a box of like seven of those. You know who UCB wants is Parsi. They want to see Parsi's whole deal. <laughs> yeah, Mariko, why don't you call <laughs> to get the Parsi's exception? Whole <laughs> deal. Parsi's gonna change Parsi. the scene and be funny as shit. <laughs> be funny as balls. Parsi, that's why one of my favorite bits ever. Parsi's gonna come in and change the scene. Marika, you gotta be funny as shit and you gotta tell us your whole deal. <laughs> You're gonna change the scene entirely with your entrance. Well, I say all the time, I quote, well, I'm now I'm confused. Because I thought this was my house. Parsi. <laughs> Parsi. Parsi on the sack. <laughs> yeah, that's my new, um, maybe I'll change my name to Parsi. That's Or at least like middle name. My pick this week is Stephen Sondheim. Why? Sondheim. Stephen Bondheim. You think he can pull oh, it, it off? Oh, it just has to sort of <laughs> no. sound? No, afraid not. Uh, it can be anything <laughs> you want. But thing. So it's instead of like, so what can you do on a Saturday night alone? It'll be... That is the only <laughs> Sondheim reference you ever sing. So what can you do with a boss named M as Bond? <laughs> Fuck you guys, right? Because I, I put a lot of effort into this shit. Did you? He Googles one thing, clicks on the first <laughs> result, he says. Everybody's <laughs> dying. Everybody's in <laughs> stitches. How much time and also what chords Hour after half. writing that did you Hour play on the guitar? and a half. What song None. did you play None. after writing that? I... <laughs> oh, Jeff. Jeff, what's wrong, honey? What's wrong? <laughs> Sweetie, what happened? Oh, Jeff, what happened? Oh, honey, what happened? Honey, what's wrong? Tell us about Boxing Day, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we want to hear. We moved fast, Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about Bond of the Week. You guys took a talking point that could have been awesome and you turned it into me. It could have been talking about the origins of Boxing Day. <laughs> we should do an Indian hour. A what? Exactly. An Indian hour? I need to be with my brothers and sisters. I don't know what you're saying. I think he said Indian hour. Oh. I thought you said an Indian. I'm like, watch an indie film every hour. <laughs> <laughs> we should do Indian an Indian Indian hour. hour. <laughs> an Indian Indian hour. And we'll segregate the room. Whites and browns. <laughs> Just God. like my laundry. Uh, nice. <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you? We're getting oh, right. Tongues, spam the chat tongue. with rice. Uh, spam the chat with rice. We're getting a lot of rice. 
I want for like a special episode, I want you to cook rice the way you describe it in your music. Scraping like to, scraps, singeing like sand. Singe yeah. the sand, you know, whatever the fuck you talk about. And I want you to eat it. And I want you to put hoisin, yeah. dark soy, fish sauce, the whole shebang. <laughs> a lot of sauce. <laughs> well, lot you of sauce. scream, don't trust ships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be beautiful, like, performance art piece. Yeah. Well, or you could have a, a second helping of a dog. I'm getting a dog next year, but I want it now. Kind of like Next Rufus year? Like, I want it now. Yeah, getting a dog in the fall. Go outside, you two. Check your front doors. No way. <laughs> I'm not at home. <laughs> really? <laughs> then forget it. At you Jeffrey got James us on a Instagram. Ceasefire and you got me a dog and you got Miles an iPad mini. Too yes. much, man. No. And I knew it was going to happen. No. <laughs> um, I hate him. Yeah. Why does everybody think I'm directing this? You guys, you, well, you like are. You behind are. the desk. We're you're participating the, in a shared joy. You're the, <laughs> you're the technical director, man. You're on set. So I was like, where Jeff hasn't left his trailer in hours. <laughs> Jeff, you're the director. What? We're participating in a shared joy. You're not. You're in your trailer, and we can see by the way it's shaking that you're wanking. The real low of the week was um, re- learning about murder hornets. Because my anxiety can only take so much. Now there's and bee killers. Now there's killer bee, bee killers. And I looked up a photo of them. Because I, yeah. I guess I just, I was on Twitter and like, oh, Jesus Twitter? Christ. I was on, I was on Twitter. And um, <laughs> I was going doo-doo and wah-wah and I was on Twitter. <laughs> I was looking at Amio's existential duet on Twitter. And um, I saw that murder hornets was trending and... I just decided to do a little ye old Google search and I yeah. saw the fucking monsters and I wanted to throw my have you seen what they look like? I saw I saw a photo on Twitter. Um <laughs> but I I I did this smart thing and I did not click through. I, I saw that and I was just like, nope, I not now. Not now. Two it, inches big. They are two inches yeah. long. They're huge. They're the size they are they look they I don't know what do they look like? They look like a fucking Tamagotchi. They're, They're huge. Size. And they and they um behead decapitate. bees. They decapitate yeah. bees. Mm, yeah, that's not for me. And they don't and they don't or... pollinate either. They don't even serve no, a purpose. They only kill bad. other bees. It's insane. Yeah. What not everybody needs to have a bond of the week, but if anybody else has one, let's hear it and then let's move on. I have a, I have a quick one. Okay. I'm gonna say Bill Hader because I'm finally catching up on the latest season of Barry. Mm. And I'd climb him like a tree. Yeah. You're just attracted to every <laughs> average looking white guy. <laughs> attracted no. to average looking white guy. No. loved that. <laughs> I can have it come into r- one ear so it's like in one ear and then out the other. But then you won't. That's like, really the issue good. is that you won't be paying That's attention. Really it's not really good. It's that you won't be paying attention. Let me try it. And then if it's noticeable, you can what tell are you me gonna listen to? It'll be what noticeable. Are you gonna listen to? Yeah, if it's good, we can all. It's already derailing the show. Then we can, we can all, all listen, listen to it. Yeah. If what, it's good, what are you yeah, going to yeah. listen to? Amir. Hey, Amir. <laughs> yeah, you can't oh, he's, yeah. Really, he's really enjoying it. Amir. No, I am. What are you I listening am. to so we can all listen to <laughs> together? I get that. Okay. Okay. Is this what you do when you listen to podcasts? You respond right. as if you're part of the conversation. <laughs> right, right, right. Sean Spencer said 10 minutes until Riley's 24 hour stream starts. <laughs> Would you do it? Wow. Right now? No, I'm too sleepy. That's kind of <laughs> where I was yesterday. And I fucking no, I'm made it a think. If we sprung a surprise 24 hour stream on you, how Be would you Be very careful. Be very careful here because he's doing research. Yeah. I'd love it. It would be so fun and I'd be happy. No, I would, I said before that it's like I would be, it'd be like, oh, that's nice for like two hours. And then I would slowly sink. I think it should be Riley's all nighter and it's just 12 hours. So you don't have to go through what I just did, which is worse than people think it was. What if this was just a rolling thing? That it's like every single person at Headgum. It's 24 hours a day. <laughs> a day. Every and then day. it's like, and you don't know when it's going to be you. So it's Jeff. And then, but Probst has like 20 plus videos ready to go of like Casey. Dane. <laughs> By the way, only like around 30 employees. So that means that you would have to do this once a month. <laughs> That's not going to work for me. I went to an all boys school when I was growing up. And our sister's school 
had these bumper stickers they would sell in their store, like everybody, you know, where you would buy like <laughs> a Letterman jacket or this bumper sticker that said "Yet." George's girlfriend went to this school, and uh, the "Yet" didn't stand for anything. It was more of a mantra, and it was, "I don't have an A in chemistry yet." <laughs> and so it was basically a way to encourage like all the little, the girls. So. I'm just saying, why not us? Stop. With what? We haven't waxed about Brooks Brothers yet. Oh my God. Got it. Got it. So all the headgum people were at one table, except Jake. And um, who Jake was, was at a separate New York table. That's yeah. whatever. Yeah. Excuses. Pyle was Pyle like. Was at the table. Pyle was He's like. from New York. Ugh. My shirt isn't fitting me right. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I would underdress for this. And then Marty was wearing a polo, and I said, "Oh, at least you didn't wear a fucking polo like Marty." And Marty on a dive, he goes, "Jeff wore a fucking tank top. <laughs> <laughs> Why is nobody talking about that? What do you mean I wore a polo? Jeff is in a fucking white tank top. He was and sitting no one on gives it a shit. for <laughs> the first three and a half hours. Yeah, he was stewing. Yeah. He didn't say what the question was. It wasn't unprompted." <laughs> comedy like a cello I, uh, I'm writing this is so much worse because it's of what's gonna happen after this just, during the just show just to start it's like uh, I guess I'm Jeffrey James I live in Los Angeles and I guess I think of my comedy like a multifaceted like entity. A tuba. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're kind of like in an orchestra at the moment. And you, know? I, you can be conductor and first chair violin at the mm-hmm. same time. That's I'm right. first Did you ever play? Bond of the week, Taryn Edgerton. Her- my crush is back. My crush is back because I watched all of Blackbird on Apple TV in the day. Blackbird, and- Riley's eating Terrence's ass. Oh, honey. He got <laughs> fucking ripped for that show. And let me just say, him and Kingsman, him and Rocketman, hot as shit. Him and Blackbird, not a type I usually go for. No, he's jacked and handsome. <laughs> No, I don't normally go like <laughs> that level of jacked is normally not appealing to me. But yeah. when you also love Taryn... what's his name from the bear. Jeremy, Jeremy White. White. Well, here's yeah. the thing about a Taryn Edgerton is that it's like Tom Holland got stung by a thousand bees. <laughs> 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 Fine. Then let me just do the last round to all three of you guys. All right. Great. Love Great. That. Shower beer. Try shower gin. Gets the job done quicker so you can relax and slip. Yeah, it's good that only Riley didn't hear that. I don't know why I thought it was going to (laughs) rhyme. Relax and... And sin. (laughs) My my favorite headgun memory was South By in 2017. Or no, 2018. I didn't say a person, I said a time. It was The gang was all there. Simply yeah. put. <laughs> well, the gang was kind of there. You know, All, it was everyone, mostly there. It was yeah. a family that was like pod. the OG perfect crew. That mm-hmm. was when the vibes were still positive and everybody like yeah. was, you know, on the same page, communicative, mm-hmm. just like really, yeah. it, we couldn't mesh better. That was the whole thing. Awesome. Yeah. Totally. And it's so fun because like I remember like texting you guys there. One second, like, Jeffrey was so talking. I was just <laughs> saying that like dynamics <laughs> yeah. are such Hold a on, thing. Like Jeff dynamics finish. are such a thing. So to have like that's what's you know, so important. What makes the company Riley? is can you mute is the Riley? bonds? I'm yeah, the to bonds are see. so important, and it's so cool that bonds can also like stay over over time ah, and space there's and like, distance. Uh, my ear hurts. And, there's something that's like yeah. grating. Jeff, what were you like, gonna say? What was the South by memory oh, that only only oh, a couple South of us by. were there for? And South I'm glad by, you guys awesome. mentioned bonds because our bonds finally kind of paid off at that point. Like we had bought them low in 2016, and by 2018 <laughs> they were high. So we all sold out, and suddenly we're like thousandaires, right? And Jasper, oh, Jasper, correct. 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 <laughs> Just saying the, the middle Correct. three letters. I don't know. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's less and less. So you're down to just the middle E. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to have thoughts. Is that you? A quote? <laughs> That's a quote. From you. I don't, I don't know how to have thoughts. You guys, you're getting angrier the longer I talk. I just was trying to add to the... Ferris, uh, what's the coldest you've ever been, brother? <laughs> He's your brother. Uh, all brothers. <laughs> hmm. I'm a brother. We're all brothers. We're all brothers together. Even me. All four of Maybe us. Maybe not Jeff. No, I think three. 
We love each other. <laughs> 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 um, I'd like to pitch Miles Bonsignore for Bond because yeah. the disguises, though. Oh, the yeah. first like, Italian oh, yeah. Bond, the first Bond Italian famously like, known for his he, disguises. But like he can switch it up and like have a bunch of costumes in his back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. His last name, yeah. yeah, Bond Signore. Bond, it's right. Miles yeah, Bond yeah, Signore. Good. Anya, that was Anya just gave a clutch with Miles <laughs> Bond Signore. Yeah. That was we've done fun. that before, but yeah. I think I'm oh. gonna. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jeff. Come here. What the fuck was that? Oh, you're gonna slap me in the face. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Why uh, would you think that? Well, my Bond of the Week was gonna be you. Why? Oh. I don't know. You're the only actor on the show. That's not true. Who else acts? Okay, I did no, a play I'm in high school. Guest. <laughs> First of all. We all sing. We all yeah. sing. Actually, we all sing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we all sing. No one else acts. That's literally not true. On the stream? You. Who, Gabrus? Y- yeah, I guess yeah, he going to be yeah. my pick. Gabrus, Gabron, yeah. Gabon. I want a, I would be want a Bond awesome that smokes bond. weed. Yeah, Gabrus would be No, a I think bond. bond villain. Sometimes I look to my corner and it doesn't feel like anyone's in it. You know, mm. and to George's point, it's like I get that I've built a reputation for myself of being pipes something. in your hand, yeah. right? I see the pipe <laughs> in your hand. Pipes. So already, like you, you did bring up uh, like, oh, this is something that makes me feel vulnerable. No one's on my corner, yep. and now you have the pipe in your mouth. Yep. So yeah, you're I actually not gonna fully. Well, you don't. I don't think that's not true, Ellen. You don't fully get it. You're not gonna fully engage because you're like now you're just kind of like a prop comic. You're devolving. You're devolving into prop comedy, and so you don't actually have anything to put on the table. You rhyme and you hold a pipe. You, you. I just want to point back to like maybe forty five seconds ago. You're like, oh, it makes me sad, and then I'm not glad, or whatever the fuck you said. You do a rhyme, and then you put a pipe in your mouth, and then that you're like, oh, badum chu. But there's no badum chu. We're just kind of all left. Like, what are we supposed to do to that? Then that, then the conversation becomes about the pipe, and so then, oh, are we? We have to stop for a whole conversation just to make you feel like a big man. Oh, a big man with big pipe in a closet, right? Sorry, yeah. podcast proceed. That I just had to throw that little that those two cents in there as well because that was yeah. some great feedback from Rika. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't let me down. I mean, where to start? One, I just the reason I was raising my hand during the moment of silence. I just want to double back really quick. Mm. Is that I would like to see a thirty second moment of silence where you don't have another task to do, where you actually have to sit in a moment of silence without like, oh, I got to pull up, don't <laughs> cook rice fine, you yeah, know, yeah. cue up the mm-hmm. music, got to get the lyrics. It's like that took up the 30 seconds for you. Sure. And so I wa- the reason I was reading my hand was like, hey, cut that shit out. Let's like literally be in this. Yeah, be in the moment. Yeah. You know? yeah no, like no, sometimes I, I need to focus moment. up, but I think sometimes, <laughs> yeah, you're teeing something up instead yeah. of being here right now. That's what I was going to say, be here now. Yeah, sort of Were you going to say that? Well, it's like Ram Dass. Yeah, yeah. not going to tell you what it is. Okay. Um, but I like to pick up a, a cappuccino and a little treat. Maybe it'll be a ginger molasses soft cookie, and it's very nice. Mm. Yeah. So that'll make me feel like, you know what? <laughs> you can do it. All right. And so that'll be like, oh, this, this is girl is on fire. fire. Yeah. It'll be like what? Um, this girl is on fire. That's good. Do you want one more time for safety? Yeah, let's just get it wild, because I'm only going to use one of these three, but just to have the options would be good. This girl is on fire. Okay, maybe I'll vocal stop though. <laughs> <laughs> can you do the lower octave, like ba- as bassy as you can this go? This girl is on fire. And wow. the middle one? This girl is on fire. No, 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 the one that you just, the original this one This girl is on fire. And then there's one falsetto at the S. This girl is on fire. Not harmonized, just Ooh. octaves. I don't want to Jesus, okay. she's doing everything <laughs> that you want. Don't give her fucking notes. That's oh, more than enough wow. to sound great. Okay, here yeah. we go, here we go, here yeah, we go, here yeah. we go. One time, no thought. Yep. This girl is on fire. Why are you mad at no, me? No, that was perfect. I thought you were going to do them all in a row. I don't know why I thought that. Um, that was easy. Oh my, oh my god. god. Right. He was, Jeff uh, was given bonkers. two and yeah. he was trying to yeah. pass one off to somebody really quick. My bond of the week is Marika and my Uber driver who <gasps> noticed my phone was in the back of the car. Wow. Yeah. Fucking whip that puppy more of a around. Cue move, and, but still. Yeah. Whatever, no. man. It's my bond of the week. You don't have to agree. Um, <laughs> next note. Next note. Wow. Hi, right. Kyle and I <laughs> first summoned rule in this podcast. Like Jeff was way ever. meaner to you this episode. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking it out on Jay. I'm sorry. Um, it's just if I take it out on him, it literally it's like he can't even register that it's happening. We yeah. should share our location. next note again. Rapid fire. This was, but I feel like culture has changed. Santa, since then. buddy, have yeah. you seen? 
Did you see the uh, that they updated the lyrics on Google for um, "Baby It's Cold Outside" with the "It's your body and your choice." Ew. Um, it's oh, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That didn't need to happen That's for people so, to support reproductive uh, rights and health. No. What's amazing though is that it's like they so overcorrected it to the point where I saw someone tweet about this and forgetting who it is, but they were like, it now reads as if the guy like doesn't even want the girl to stay over. Like he talks about how he called her a car. Her car's almost here. This is the driver's name. Like it yeah. really is sounding more like get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, Jesus. Right. Gabriel's made a good point yesterday. I was chatting with him between segments and um we were talking about like how you know like you said earlier that it's like we that it's so much love that it's like we do it because we love you and and also that it's like such a testament that it's like everyone has thought that it's like you can handle something like this that you can be on for 24 hours and gabriel's now we're like and that's so cool such an honor i'd never want to fucking do it (laughs) but um happy to pop in and out like i was thinking like oh that's so cool and I was like, both of us were like, man, that'd be so awesome if they spring it on me. I'm like, no, I would hate this. No. I would never want to do this. Well, I've talked um, to you about how I hate surprise parties. Yeah. So this is kind of like the ultimate surprise This was party. worse. Yeah, because yeah, th- probably can't over the course of hours, thousands of people watching you. Yeah. How much money has been raised, by the way? Well, it was 10000 10, but there was like a, it was, again, yeah. we were only yeah. doing proceeds. So I think it's only going to be about yeah, we were, 500 We were raising money uh, <laughs> over incredible. the past 24 hours for uh, stand-up girls. I have a question. Well, yeah. I have a question. Okay. What, I'm sure I've asked this in the past, but it's been a while since I've been on this show. And I'm wondering, what is the, what is it? <laughs> I was actually also wondering that. Because it's like, we're getting news segment jokes, like kind of like a weekend update type of vibe. But yeah. then we're also getting mm. Bond of the, I'm just, I guess like what, like um, the why, like the why of the show. Yeah. And it takes away some of your, and just to pile on. Right, just to do that. Just to add insult to insult. (laughs) It takes away some of your sort of um, evil power to be behind the desk while we're all over here. Yes, completely. Yeah. I thought it was sort of like Ozzy. No. No, I can barely see you because there's like a camera (laughs) and another camera. Like, you're behind. Do you want to take a picture on your phone and we'll put it in Yeah, you're behind two tripods. It's difficult to kind of render you. Yeah, Yeah. Sort of a sex pod. Sorry? Double try. Don't look at me after you say something like that. <laughs> I think we could bring, I think it would really. It should be on home. every HeadGum podcast, really. It should be on every HeadGum podcast because it all comes back to the man, the myth, the legend. This segment is called What Happened, Marty? Mm. Um, so <laughs> for us, it's usually about why hasn't he gotten us more ads? Um, why is he so sad? Why isn't he, you know, kind of getting out there emotionally, physically? Um, mm-hmm. So. If you guys want to chime in, you just got to end it with a little, come on, what happened, Marty? All right, why don't you guys start, and then we'll take the third and fourth one. Marty refuses to get a Nintendo Switch because a couple months ago he thought it was childish and it was a toy for children. But now all of us are bonding and having more personal experiences outside the office, and he's missing out. What happened, Marty? Uh, Headgum sketches, review, review, and uh, everyone wants to go check out the Super Mario's uh, Super Mario Brothers trailer. I think I'd love to direct people there. Holy shit. <laughs> You're on the street team. <laughs> You're working with fucking Sony or whatever. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. <laughs> see, you, see you on the street dressed like Toad. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> Box office records shattered. Oh, I just got a text. Yeah, from? From oh, Charlie's or Marley's? I uh, heard. Lawyer, actually, but name. It's What's fine. his name? What's that? What's the <laughs> lawyer's name? name? Harley's name. <laughs> Harley's. Harley's. Harley. <laughs> yeah, Harley's <laughs> Theron. His last name is Theron. Wait, is... <laughs> yes, not spelled the same way. Is it H A R L I Z E or H A R L E Y S? <laughs> it's that with an E at the end. God. Our lese, like a caprese <laughs> salad almost. Right yes, next exactly. to my table was really far Well, you away. guys have kids, so you're already not cool. But like, we wanted like the cool people up front. Totally. Yeah, yeah. like young. Not everyone yeah. on my table. Energetic. Had kids. I was thinking I was the only person. Sort of like oh, people still in their had 20s that yeah. had like a vibrant energy. Yeah. Other people at my hard. table. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Other people at my table were young. I literally uh, said cool. the same time. I actually, I guess it was at the parent table, kind of. Cheer up. That's what Riley's fucking saying. 
Brooks Brothers, what could it be if we owned it for only a G? Um, I was thinking we we turn it into a lifestyle brand. Like it's yeah. not just about the clothes. Like a goop. It's it's about goop, but it's it's just for brothers. It's about goop. It's <laughs> it's, about goop. it's a slime store. It's sorts. it's it's goop for brothers. Meaning, you know, it's like goop. They try and be like any anyone can be part of goop. Anyone can goop. And for Brooks Brothers, it's like only brothers can do it. And so if you if you are brothers, then it's like here's the lifestyle for you. So it's like there's retre- there's brothers retreats, there's brothers DIY, and so it's like how to make a sign for your do- for your bedroom door that you share with your adult brother. The first how- category is brothers retreats, and the second one is brothers DIY, and that's the end of the list. <laughs> right you, now, have you guys have you been to the Goop store? There's no. a storefront. There, there's. <laughs> they went brick and mortar. They, they went brick and they mortar. They went brick and morty. Brick and mortar. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> so, so they have <laughs> brick and morty merch. They have moisturizer. That's pickle Rick in a store. Miley. <laughs> Santa baby. All the reindeers contracted mange today. <laughs> you need to put them away six feet under and euthanize them right at today. All right. Um, I do have to go. <laughs> okay, just preemptively, based on no information, would you fuck this person? <laughs> it's a Lego, so a Lego obviously guy. not. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Uh, plugs? Um, I'm so sorry that I have to leave during the episode. Uh, just li- uh, review, review, and if you're watching this, you you know you can find me Riley Ansvall. On- you're caught up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Riley Ansvall on Instagram, Riley Cody on Twitter. Review, just review Google show. the word Ireland. Ireland. If you if you know Ireland, you know me. Um, <laughs> and uh, Headgum Sketches on YouTube. Uh, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Jake, haven't seen you in forever. Marika, what a adieu. joy. Goodbye to everyone. I'm so glad we got to share uh, Jeff's ass. Yeah, I'm seeing, how it's, <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing how it's doing. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get a Later, Riley. In here. Bye, Riley. It's doing pretty well, but ultimately, your tweet from right before so many people ain't it is doing better. Yeah, but that was over <laughs> the span of a week. This has been 20 minutes. Yeah, but you'd still, you'd really want to see it blow by so many people ain't it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I would appreciate the retweet from you. <laughs> Um, oh my hey, god! Brownlee sucks. Welcome back to another episode of Review Review. Review. With I'm a, your host, Riley, and I'm Jeffrey much. James. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> what is the color, Riley, of the yeah. podcast art of this show that we just transitioned into? Of uh, Review Review, yeah. it is like cream and red. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. You're sticking around, uh, Riley. What this is the never ends. color? This is limbo. What is the color of your car? <laughs> my car, and that's is still white. trivial for Jeff because you're a friend of mine. So you're in my life in the car I've seen. It's white. It's white. That's absolutely correct. You're sticking around. Riley, what is the color? This is how I kill Of my <laughs> car. <laughs> Your car is like a slate gray. That's incorrect. Mm. It's a silver. Oh, come on. Game over. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Riley sucks. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the HeadGum Podcast. You can catch uh, Riley on Instagram, at Riley Anspa, on Twitter, at Riley Coyote. You- so thank you guys so much. We will see you next week, or we won't. It'll be interesting. Like America, this is a great experiment. Sex! <laughs>